I have plugged a servo into the MakerBit expansion board to be run through the MicroBit. Now there are two different kinds of servos. There is an angle servo which goes from 0 to 180 depending on what angle you tell it to be at and that stays there until you tell it to do something else. And then there's continuous rotation servos which spin both directions, either direction, depending on what you tell it. Um, and those numbers are also 0, 90, and 180. I think 90 is stopped, 0 is spin one direction, and 180 is spin the other direction. So you need to know which servos you have and which ones you want to have. Some people use servos instead of a motor. They like to control better, I think. I'm not sure why. Haven't played with them enough. So how I plug things in here, I've got two buttons plugged into my analog inputs. Again, I could have plugged them into pins up here. Um, just changed the coding slightly. And then I have a servo plugged into uh, analog three. So pin three. So this is pin zero, pin one, and pin three. And I just skipped pin two for some reason. I don't remember why. Um, and I've got the code to reset when I press button A. So if I press this button, it's supposed to go 90 degrees. When I press this button, it's supposed to go 180. Now, those 90 and 180 don't look exactly 90 and 180 to me. I think you have to get more expensive servos to actually make that happen perfectly. Um, so again, it's at zero now because that's the initial setting. And that's also the reset for button A. That's supposed to tell it to go to 90. And that's supposed to tell it to go to 180. Now when you plug the servos in, it's three it's a three wire plug. Um, red is power, orange is signal, brown or black tend to be ground. Just make sure you're plugging it into the right port that you've plugged into. Um, and that's that's the hookup. So anything you think you might want to move just a little bit, that's what servos are for. So let's get over here to the code, which um, I didn't actually need any of the MakerBit um, blocks. So on start, I set LED enable false to turn off the uh, 5x5 array. I'm using pin 3, and pin 3 is uh, part of the LED array, so that would have caused conflicts. And then I set it to be uh, pin 3 to 0 to start. And then I have oh, on button press, button A press, uh, reset to 0. And then in my forever statement, I've got two ifs. If pin 0 is pressed, servo right pin to 90. If pin 1 is pressed, servo right pin to 180. Where you get those servo are in the pins. So if you're looking over here on the left, under pins, um, you scroll down and there's a servo right pins. So that's how you hook up a servo. I've seen some people hook up a servo um, to run like a thermometer. They input temperature, they read the temperature off the micro bit and they have the, uh, the, they map the numbers from the thermometer into the zero to 180 and that's a, a math thing. Um, over here, it's going to map these numbers to other sets of numbers. So it's going to take the temperature range you want, whatever you set up, and map it to the, and you map it to the zero to one eighty. Servos, pretty simple. Oh, and uh, it has. It usually comes with some extra horns for you to hook it up different ways. There are many different size servos realize that they're also different voltage servos and we're working with three to five volts